Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia video. Today we have the newest Dare to Defy. So this is Dare to Defy 5. This is the core Shinryu fight. Um, and I'm going to hop in here and uh, break out my boy Machina. And so in my core uh, character guide that I just did, I really showcased him on like a defense comp. Now I want to show off the other end of it um, using core in a more offensive comp. So what we're going to do here is you'll notice we have core Noctis and Machina. So in some ways you can say this is a non-traditional build because I don't really have uh, like I don't have like a tank here and I don't have like a traditional support character right this is kind of a unique build in that um, it's kind of like a really like offensive focus build where I'm thinking of Noctis oh and I I quit out there because it was something I forgot to set up that I wanted to do I don't remember what it was but uh, we're hopping back in I'm talking over a pre-recording anyway so I'm just talking over the setup oh yeah I forgot to put the Ultima weapon on Machina we we gotta have the Ultima weapon on Machina but my thought is here is that I want to focus on like Machina as my main DPS. And I'm thinking of Noctis more as just like an off turn damage character, right? So Core and Noctis are going to be off turn and they're kind of like just supporting Machina with a bunch of damage. The other thing too is like Machina's playstyle and FR actually work really really well with core in like a defense comp as well because a lot of people might forget but machina is actually also a counter character and has spirals linchpin so machina actually can double counter as well so and he's got very good on turn damage so machina is no slouch either for like what he can do and his fr condition also does a five percent off tick so you can do you know tick ups very similar to the way you would with core with machina so uh, a very nice synergistic character here so yeah we're, we're gonna get through this and we're going to basically have a team with no support characters, no uh, force ramping, none of that stuff. Now, we are using a couple of featured characters. We do start with a very high force gauge, which is nice. Um, I did try doing this one with more of like a defense comp, but what I found is, is this fight just isn't aggressive enough. It doesn't work as well as I would like. It was taking a little too long. So I said, no, I feel like we got to go the more offensive route on this one. So that's what I opted to do. So when I did course character guide, as good as that defense team looked, um, it's not something you can do in like every single fight, right? They, it, it works a lot better uh, if you have three enemies or if you have two enemies that are really, really aggressive. And this fight just wasn't aggressive enough and the ad dies like pretty easily. So they're not around doing as many attacks as I would like. What's nice about this though, whether we go into say core FR or Machina FR, um, it's really nice because we can get on turn ticks and we can also get off turn ticks to the HP gauge. So the really nice FR is that you can kind of use both ways. So even though this is a very offensive build where I'm trying to get Machina kind of ramped up for a burst phase to let like Noctis and Core do a bunch of off turn, we actually do do a lot of good off turn counter damage ourselves with Machina um, when, when the enemies do get turned, which is really, really nice, right? So yeah, this uh, Dare to Defy 5 was infinitely easier than Dare to Defy 4. In fact, I still haven't beat Dare to Defy 4. Um, it's just because I haven't had a lot of time to do attempts on it. I got to do some more attempts. Um, so we'll, we'll get in there and do that, right? All right. So here I'm setting up with uh, Noctis here. And uh, Noctis now has BT effect up. So Noctis is set up for counters. I, now you notice I didn't get, put his BT effect up right away. I wanted to wait till we're close to force time. Now that we're at 85%, I felt like that was a good time to pop it. Because I want to make sure we have plenty of turns of that, right? Now, I did also set up Machina with launching, so we do have that as an option as well. So I do decide, yeah, we're close enough. Let's get Machina's BT effect up so that we can roll into those really powerful HP plus attacks. Now, my thought here is to either get like a Machina or Core FR up and then um, kind of go into like a Machina burst phase and go crazy. But I do think I am opting for Machina force here because then I can echo with Core. And by the way, this is Noctis without FR. Uh, so we're even getting this done with like two less forces, whether they be echoes or force times than we normally would have. And we still get through this fight just fine. So you can tell this fight isn't nearly as like overtuned as that Dare to Defy 4 was. Uh, so yeah, this is, it's nice to have kind of like a nice, clean, easy win here after dealing with that very difficult fight. Um, by the way, I have done this fight actually another time off camera because what it is, I here's the thing, it's really nice that they clear the Shinryu with the Dare to Defy um, because now we have the co-op Shinryu. So bare minimum, I still would have to clear it twice anyways. So without that addition, I would have had to do the Shinryu three times. So it was nice that like, this is gonna be, this is my first clear of the Shinryu and this cleared the main Shinryu for me. 
But then I did do another run off camera where I absolutely demolished the co-op one because there I wasn't limited, uh, you know, from lockouts. So I ran, uh, I think I actually mentioned this team very specifically when talking about core, but it was core Tifa and Aerith. And that team just absolutely demolished this fight to oblivion. Uh, it just was no problem at all. That, that team turned out very, very good. Um, it was not an issue whatsoever. But there you go. You're getting some like of the Machina off turn there, right? Because the way it is, the Spiral's Linchpin is just going to trigger when the enemies do a, an attack. And then if Machina gets attacked, he does his own counter. So yeah, Machina is pretty cool. He can do his uh, off turn and counter shenanigans, which can really help during a force gauge. So Machina is a character where like, he used to be like the best like damage dealer in the game. Um, now with his more recent rework, um, I, I would say he's not like the top tier. Like I don't think he matches with Tifa. But because he has the off turn, like he can put up a lot of damage. And I like that utility that he has with that off turn in the counters. So Machina is still very good. You just have to think of him more as like also utilizing his counters, not just doing the straight damage. Because he's not putting up like 70 mils or whatever that Tifa is. When I did that Tifa run, that was Aerith, Tifa, and Core. Um, I had launching and Core's follow-ups and then also Aerith's you know, follow-ups that would happen once in a while. But I did hit a... Uh, an attack for 75 million in one shot <laughs> with Tifa, which is, I think, about tied for, like, the most I've ever done in an attack with Tifa. 75 mil is crazy. If you guys really think about that, doing that on one attack, like, that's like an entire burst phase for some characters. We did on one attack. So, pretty crazy the amount of damage that Tifa can still put up, right? All right, so periodically, I like to go and check where my Oath of Absolute Defenses are at. We do have Core's BT up. So now we can have both characters with Oath of Absolute Defense. So at this point, we're all set up. Like nobody can be broken. Any all attacks are going to get triple countered, which is very, very nice, which we should see here in a moment. And then we got Noctis jumping in and dude, his, his follow-ups are really beefy. Uh, when I did Noctis's guide, I felt really good about his follow-ups, but there's one core, there's two core. And there's three core. So the the fact that he gets three counters every attack is kind of crazy. Uh, so the enemies are about to get their force up. I think this is about the time that we go into uh, Machina Force. And Machina can beat through these shields really easily. Not a big deal here, right? So yep, we hop in just before they get their force time. <laughs> and then we're going to kind of see what my boy Machina can do here. We got a little echo at our side here with... Uh, uh, with core if we want to echo but it's really nice because core works really well with machina because once again machina also gets five percent ticks for the off turn which is cool <clears throat> all right and then core jumping in and uh we got the uh ex here and noctis does do really good on turn damage too so I, he's a really nice piece because you know, his follow-ups are, are really, really nice, but he's got really good on-turn damage as well, right? Like, three mil there. <clears throat> Alright, and then, yep, we're going to set up with a... Uh, set up with the good old uh, launch here, and I think we are going to go mocking a burst phase, and we're just going to see how much damage we can get out of this guy. Now, we don't kill him in, like, one force time. With the Tifa run, we almost did. Like, we got him pretty dang close. I think we got him down like 7% after the first force on the Tifa run. Um, and then I basically just Aerith ramped into another force and killed him. Like before he even got a force time. Now in this video, I believe the boss will get a force time, but we can just cancel it out. It's a very easy cancel because it's just melee damage. Um, what is that? I think it's just melee damage and you have to deal over 9,999 brave damage or something like that. It's a very easy condition to meet. A lot of characters can meet it. So yeah, very contrasting to the last fight, which was, you know, it's a hard force to cancel, a ton of mechanics, uh, very difficult things to get around. This one just felt really free and easy. We could just kind of go crazy in here. So not too bad. And yeah, Noctis already dealing over a mil with his follow-ups. So yeah, this is where it gets nasty. Okay. So now we're just Furious Blades Burst. We get the core <laughs> follow-up. We get uh, Machina doing the big attack. We get the Spiral's Linchpin. And then we get Noctis at the end of all of it. And it's going to come after the launch. So we're going to do all the launch damage here. And then Noctis swoops in at the end. Seven and a half mil. And then Noctis should be coming in for a swing. Yep, there it is. And then 1.7 mil. And it's only going to get better and better and better. So this is the other way I just wanted to show. This is another really effective way to use core. 
basically take a main DPS and then shove core and another off turn around them and kind of see all the damage you can put out. And we've got launching on top of that. Uh, pretty dang good. <laughs> Once again, we still don't hit like the Tifa levels of damage, but it's still like really good. And, and Machina is still looking really good here. And this is nice for Dare to Defy, right? This is the type of thing that's like, yeah, I can pull out my, I, I was looking through my box of characters I have left. And I'm like, I, I really, my thought process building this team was I wanted to build it around Noctis and Core being off turn. So I'm like, I want a very strong single target damage dealer here, right? Um, and I think I had already used Vaughn on a different fight. And obviously I'd already used Tifa. So the next character that came to mind here for single target was Machina. And I'm like, yep, he's still available. He actually synergizes super, super well. And I believe this um, fight also is elemental lockout. So that's the other reason Vaughn doesn't work here. So I had to make sure I brought all non-elemental. Because so my initial plan was is I wanted to use Rubicante here, but he started absorbing fire right away. I think that I think there are two elements you can use. I want to say it's ice and earth you can use. Um, because obviously they want to enable Gao to be okay. And I believe, uh, I think Cater was on one of the banners and they wanted like Cater to be okay, right? So they let Ice and Earth through, but any other elements can't really get through here. <clears throat> All right, we're at 548%. So how much damage are we going to get on this turn here at 548 with our boy Machina? And it's nice because we're like really capped on Brave. We're doing really good damage on the launch here. So yeah, we're up to 22 mil. So yeah, now we're getting some really heavy shots in. And we're getting that gauge worked way up here. And that, you know, 20 whatever mil did not count that 4 mil shot that uh, Noctis landed right on the end there. So you got to remember when you do Noctis, his damage doesn't calculate into the initial attack. So you kind of have to add his on on the end to really see what you're doing. And yeah, and Noctis putting in some good work here even without the FR. Uh, that being said, I really hope with some of my event tickets I can grab as FR. I do kind of want it. Um, mostly because I did invest in green Noctis. So it's like, man, I've got this like fully built BT character, but no FR. And I've got the resources to max the FR. I just got to get the weapon in my hands, right? I just got to get it in my hands. And just to have that utility of yet another Echo character at my disposal, I, I really kind of want it. Um, it has made me regret some of my previous polls because I... Had a time where I had, it was the Mog Banner, I had like 500 something plus tickets, and I went off camera and said, oh, I really wanted Mog BT, and I did something very foolish, which was to uh, try to get the BT with tickets, and I dumped like 500 tickets, didn't get it, and then went in with gems anyways, it was like the one thing I tell players not to do, uh, I went and did it, I was feeling uh, saucy, like I was going to get it done, and I didn't, and I wasted a lot of resources for that Mog BT, so you all learn from my mistake, if you know you want a BT, you just got to gem it right away. Never try to get a BT with just tickets. Uh, it might work out for you sometimes, but uh, most of the time it's not. BT rates are not good. It's hard to pull them. So, yep, I just got to recoup my resources. Um, hope that Noctis's banner is still around as I come into more tickets, and, and we'll try to get it. <clears throat> we'll see. If I don't have it by the time his banner goes away and I feel like I got enough, I may just go in and gem and get the FR. We'll see. Uh, I do really want it, though. It's like such a waste of a max out character to not have the full kit for me, you know? And the nice thing about where we're at right now is there really isn't... Like, the rest of the month is pretty clean. Like, pretty clean and very easily skippable. Um, so I, I, I know I'm not going to have to, like, use resources for a while here. I'm probably going to skip or go very light on stuff. Maybe just get lucky with free summons. But um, I'm definitely going to be skipping for a while after this. Uh, as much as I want my boy Edgar, uh, it's just not going to happen. He's not, I'm not in a place where I have the resources to do that, right? All right, so we did end the uh, Machina. So I noticed the boss was really close to a force, and I wanted to be closer to my force to be able to cancel. So what I opted to do was to roll right into a summon so that I would have free time to build my force up and catch up to the boss. So that's what I was doing here. And you can see we basically catch up to the boss. And this is without a force charger, which is pretty dang good. And we still are doing pretty good damage. So we got the boss down to what, like 38, 40%, something like that. So not nearly as deep as I, I got it with Tifa on my Tifa run, but still definitely good enough, right? Uh, you get these modern fights done in two force times. I would say that's a pretty successful run. Um, a lot of these bosses, they're loading on so much HP. It is really hard to get them done in one these days. So, uh, and you know, they know that you have Echo and all that to be very powerful. So I'd say if you can get it done in one, that's really good. 
but two is probably going to be the norm here for a while. We'll see. All right, so force ability triggered, but luckily we were at 98%. Luckily, the damage reduction there comes through for core, so we don't take too much damage. <clears throat> and then here we got to make sure we cancel this force because what's nasty about the force is it isn't that it like instantly kills you. It's that HP poison um, which means that if you killed the boss like in the middle of that poison, you're not going to meet HP requirement, right? So you got to make sure you cancel the force. But luckily, it's very easy to cancel. It's pretty much just like use a melee damage dealer is about what it is. Very easy. So we can cancel it out with Machina. We can cancel it out with Core. It doesn't matter which one we use. Very easy to uh, get rid of. So you can see we're ramped up now. So I think I'm ready just to roll right into another force time. And then at this point, I can like start echoing because I don't think I did any echo on the first one. I don't remember. I would have to double check. I was kind of just talking through my video here. But I don't know that we used any echo yet. We may have echoed with core. But I'm pretty sure I was too busy like setting up Oath of Absolute Defense on everybody and like setting up that I don't think I did actually echo. So yeah, now this last 35% is going to be easy. And when we cancel the force, we are rewarded with a nice fat heal, which is awesome. Because this team, it doesn't really have healers on it, right? So I just knew that that force gifted us that. So I'm like, yep, I, I think we can get away without even bringing a healer here, uh, which is really, really nice as well. Okay, so I did use one Echo. So I've got another one. My thought here, though, is, is like, let's upkeep the Oath of Absolute Defense. And I, my thought is, is I would rather Echo late on this one and just make sure I get really heavy damage. Because there's a part of me that's just like, ah, I still don't know if I'm going to kill him. I really got to make sure the boss dies. So to be safe, I wanted to save his Echo for late when I know we can deal really big damage, get an extra turn at the end at a really, really high percentage. I mean, we still have Furious Blades burst up, so of course we're going to be taking those. Deal out as much damage as we can. Six mil shot already. Uh, that's a really nice instance of like the enemy about to get a turn. And then Kor says, nah, I'm going to come in and break you. <laughs> going to put our guy in front. Uh, now with Noctis, if I wanted to here, I could do like Steel Pirouette and like give, our, give my uh, party members a bunch of turns in front. Uh, but we decide just to kind of let it go through here. Because now we get the off-turn stuff, right? So here comes the Spiral's Linchpin. Which is going to come through and give us 25% off-turn. We will take the 25% off-turn. And then uh, Core getting a 5% off-turn there on Machina. So very, very good, right? Like <laughs> Machina's uh, force kind of working like a Core force here. Giving us a lot of off-turn percentage. So letting the enemies get turned here. This is kind of like what's really nice about this run is it showcases like two ways to run the Machina Force, right? Like we did the very aggressive burst phase version where he gets really good gains on his own turn doing his Furious Blades burst. But here you're kind of seeing the off turn side of it, getting really good gains off turn um, and getting really, really good damage that way. And yeah, this, this team actually is a really nice little team I put together here. Very fun team. Uh, once again, I would say the big weakness of the team is it lacks healers. But for this type of fight, it works. Now, Core does provide some healing, right? You get, I think, Oath of Absolute Defense does give you HP regen. So it can work. It's just you don't get burst healing. So if you're really low and you're desperate to, like, get a big heal before ending a fight, like, eh, Core might not be the best for that. So, but it's not, it's not like you can't just bring a healing call, right? So you definitely can get away with team builds without dedicated healers. You just have to make sure that you have the proper calls to deal with that. Sure, we'll take some off turn. We'll take an off turn spirals linchpin for 25%. Sure. <laughs> we definitely will take that. And we will continue to Furious Blades Burst at 500%. And we are about to wrap this fight up. Because once again, remember, uh, we've got a core echo waiting. Just waiting to finish this fight. <laughs> and I lined it up perfect where core will get the last attack on turn one here. Provided nothing like weird, funky happens, but. You know, our, our party members can't get broken, so we don't have to worry about getting broken backwards here. Oh, but I made a huge mistake. That's right. I think I ended up steel pirouetting here. Or no, I used shooting star plus. So I made a huge mistake here. I did shooting star plus, forgetting that that works like warp step. So Noctis jumped in front, which messed me up because I wanted Core to have this last turn because Core was going to echo, was the whole idea, was we were going to echo with Core. Um, and then blow this guy up. And so we missed it. So that was quite unfortunate. And now the boss is still left with a chunk of HP. So the fight drags on a little bit longer than it needs to here. 
Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to skip ahead because now this part gets a little bit boring because we're just kind of fighting through. So let's do it. Let's just skip ahead a little bit. And I'm trying to remember if I, I think I actually do pop a force. Yeah, we, I think we do get into another force at the end. I mean, it's, it, you're not really missing anything, right? We're just kind of going through the motions. The, the boss is about to get, it, it actually worked out that I had cores force because we actually have to cancel again because the enemies ramped into another one, right? So definitely like could have been cleaner had I not made that mistake with Noctis. I think for sure getting that echo, like the big damage off of that, and then adding another turn at the high percent, like this fight would have been over. Like we shouldn't have had to do a third force, but it is what it is. We go into it. The thing that was risky at this point was the enemy was getting pretty low. I had to make sure that they uh, survived so that we'd actually get the heal after this. Because if we kill the enemy on this attack, we don't heal. So I was actually attacking the ad for a few turns because I did not want the boss to die. Now we get the big burst heal off of canceling the force. I'm like, all right, now the fight's over because <laughs> we got the boss down to like 3%. And then we can Furious Blades burst and then kind of do that, right? So uh, anyways, guys, there you go. That's my Dare to Defy uh, stage, uh, what, stage five run uh, for Dare to Defy three. Let me know what you guys did for this run. Let me know if you liked the fight or night fight or not. Um, but yeah, I, I really like Kor. I think he's a fantastic character. And I think this offensive build worked out really, really well uh, in our favor, right? So we'll let Noctis kind of go and finish things up here. We'll finish with a little bit of launch. And I think we got one more attack and we're going to be finishing up here. Noctis does not have his burst follow-ups anymore. But I do believe this EX is what is the finishing blow. <clears throat> and we should be about there. So yeah, not the cleanest at the end, but still like it was an easy enough run, right? The boss wasn't that difficult and we kind of got through it. And I think this core finish. All right, our boy's tanky. He's chilling out 1%. He's a little bit of a tanky boy. This counter, mocking a counter finish. Let's go. I think it's here. Yep, there it is. So anyways, there you go. That's my Dare to Defy run. Let me know what y'all did. Thanks for watching. We'll catch y'all on the next one.